our lesson today is to be able to find uh, markups, discounts, selling prices, tips, and uh, sales tax. All right, a couple of definitions here. First is uh, a discount is a decrease in the original price of an item. Second term is uh, markup. Uh, to make profit, stores charge more than what they pay. The increase from what the store pays to the selling price is called a markup. Here's our first example. All right, so you walk into a typical store, and you see something like this, where you have a pair of gym shorts on sale. We see that the original price is thirty-five dollars. They're going to be on sale for twenty-five percent off. We want to find the sale price. And the first thing I like for students to realize is that finding the sale price, right? We're looking for the part uh, of the whole. All right. So first we could do the problem in two steps or we could do the problem in one step all right let's do it method one we'll do it in two steps so method one right that's going to be two steps for this problem all right step number one step number one we uh, find the discount which is 25 percent of 35 so we would start with 25 over 100 and the second ratio would be n over 35. All right. When we cross multiply and divide, 25 times 35. All right. 25 times 35, we get 875. So when we find the cross products, 100 times n is 100n. 25 times 35 is going to be 875. When we divide both sides of that equation by 100, right? we wind up with n is equal to $8.75. Now $8.75 is not the cost of the shorts. right? $8.75 is the discount. So step two, right? here's step one, step two then we have to take the original price of $35 and we have to subtract the discount which we just found which is 875. All right. So we take 35 minus the 8.75. We wind up with $26.25. 26 25 would be the cost of the gym shorts that are on sale. Now that's doing the problem in two steps. The other option is to do the problem in one step, All right? We'll call this method 2. All right. And when we use method 2, uh, we're doing the problem in one step. How do we do the problem in one step? Well, we cheat a little bit and we see that, hey, if the discount is 25%, that means you're taking 25% off the cost of the item. But that is 25% from 100%. So if we take 25% away from 100%, it means that you are paying 75% of the original amount. So your first ratio is going to be 75 over 100. Your second ratio is going to be n over 35. We still use the cross product. So 100 times n is 100n. 35 times 75. Right, 35 times 75. That's going to be 26, 2625. And when we divide both sides of that equation by 100, we get n is going to be equal to the twenty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. So yes, we say that we're doing that problem in one step, but it's really two steps because that mental math step is one hundred percent minus twenty-five percent to get that first ratio of seventy-five over a hundred. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at our next example. The original price of a skateboard is fifty dollars. The sale price includes a twenty percent discount. What's the sale price? All right, once again, right, we'll do the problem you know, a couple of different ways so that we can see that we have some options here. All right, so method one, first we find the discount. So we take the 20%, put it over 100 because we're going to find the discount first. All right, the price of this board, skateboard was $50. So we're looking for the part of that skateboard that will be uh, discounted, right? And that's the 20%. So we multiply, find our cross products. 
100 times n is 100 n 20 times 50 is a thousand when we divide both sides by a hundred divide by a hundred we wind up with n is equal to ten dollars but that is the discount that's not the cost of the skateboard that is the discount so we with our step two we have to take the original price which was fifty dollars subtract the ten dollar discount that we just found and we get the cost of the skateboard <coughs> is forty dollars all right if we use the other method method for this problem we take twenty percent away from a hundred percent to find the discount if we're discounting twenty percent we're paying eighty percent so our first ratio would be eighty over a hundred second ratio is going to be n over fifty when we find a cross products a hundred times n is one hundred n eighty times fifty that's going to be four thousand when we divide both sides of the equation by a hundred we wind up with n is going to be equal to uh, oh that's oops forty thousand and when we divide by a hundred we wind up with uh, eight times five is forty zero zero oh. right and then right n is going to be equal to forty right eighty times fifty forty with two zeros, 40 with two zeros, yes, that was 4,000. And 4,000, when we divide that by 100, I have too many zeros there. All right, it's 4,000 divided by 100, and that's going to be 40 as our answer when we do that problem in one step. All right, next, find the original price. We have a pair of sneakers they're forty percent off so after the discount of forty percent the sneakers now cost thirty three dollars right we want to find the original price when we're finding the original price we're really looking for the whole amount all right we're looking for that starting point the original price sometimes it's also called the regular price right regular regular price or original price well if we take forty percent off that means we paid 60% of the original price for those sneakers, right? The, that $33 is 60%. So let's rewrite this as a percent question. I always like to do that. So that would mean that the $33 is 60% of what number and when we see that percent question ending in of what number we know we're looking for the whole amount but how do we set up the proportion well we use that 60 percent 60 over 100 and because we're looking for the whole amount 33 is in the numerator and going to be in our denominator so when we cross multiply and divide 60 times n is 60 n when we find the first product second product 33 times 100 is going to be 3300 so we divide 3300 by 60 and we wind up with 55 so the original price of the sneakers before the discount was 55 dollars all right next question third type of problem we're going to be working on is finding the selling price and when we're finding the selling price we're looking for once again the part of the whole we could do this problem in two steps or we could do the problem in one step right so we'll split the screen and we'll do the problem a couple different ways right first part uh, the first way we'll do the problem we'll use the uh, 20 percent the store pays $70 for a bicycle. The percent of markup is 20%. What's the selling price? So I start with my 20 over 100 because we're trying to find uh, the markup. So 20% is going to be the markup, but that is 20% of 70. So the 70 is in the denominator, ends in the numerator. When we cross multiply, 100 times n is 100n. 2 times 7 is 14 with two zeros, so that's 1,400. 
when we divide both sides of that equation by 100, n is going to be equal to 14. But that $14 represents the markup. That is not the selling price of the bicycle, right? The store is not going to pay $70 for a bicycle and then sell it for $14. That's not real good for business. So the $14 represents the markup. So what we have to do is add the store cost to the markup, and that's how we get the selling price of $84. Right, so that's doing the problem in a couple steps. If we want to do the problem in one step, we'd have to do it the following way. If we're marking up the item 20%, that means that we are paying 120% of the store cost. So, because we're paying 100% plus the 20%, that's where I get that 120% from, so that's going to be the percent problem or the percent ratio is going to be 120 over 100 and that's going to be equal to let's see n over 70 we find our cross products 100 times n is 100 n 7 times 12 is 84 with two zeros that's 8400 we divide both sides of that equation by 100 and we wound up with n is equal to 84 all right so we're able to get the $84 doing the problem either method all right and that's what we're gonna uh, practice all right let's move on okay a store pays $56 for a GPS navigation system the markup is 25 percent find the selling price all right so if the markups 25 percent we need to find 25 percent of the fifty-six dollars and then we're going to add that to the store cost to find the selling price so let's start with twenty-five over a hundred and that's going to be equal to n over fifty-six when we find our cross products a hundred times n is one hundred n and then we have to multiply twenty-five times fifty-six right and that's going to give us fourteen hundred when we divide both sides of that equation by a hundred Right, n is going to be equal to 14, but that 14 does not represent the uh, selling price, right? That's just the markup. So to find the selling price, we have to add the store cost, which is $56. We get a total of $70 for the selling price. If we do the problem the other way, method two with one step, all right, let's put the screen, all right, do the problem using the other method that would look like the following all right well if we're marking up 25 percent that means that the selling price is a hundred percent plus the 25 percent which is 125 percent of the store cost right so that's going to be 125 over 100 all right 125 over 100 and that's going to be equal to n over 56 when we find our cross products, 100 times n is 100 n, and then we multiply 125 times 56, that's going to be 7,000. When we divide both sides of the equation by 100, if they cancel, n is going to be equal to, that's going to be our $70. All right? Okay. We have another example that we can try, right? get a little bit more practice in so we have a store pays hundred fifty dollars for a portable basketball backboard and the markup is forty percent what's the selling price alright well <clears throat> if the markup is forty percent let's find that markup first so we're gonna write our first ratio as forty over a hundred second ratio is gonna be n over one hundred fifty we find our cross products a hundred times n is one hundred n and then 40 times 50, what's that? 15 times 4, that's 60 with two zeros, so that's going to be 6,000. When we divide both sides of that equation by 100, right, n is going to be equal to $60. But, once again, that's not the selling price, that's the markup. So we have to add that $60 to the store cost, which is $150, and that's where we get two hundred ten dollars right for the price uh, for the selling price of that item 
All right. If we use the other method here, it's going to look like this. If we have a markup of 40% and we want to find the selling price, that would be 100% plus the 40%. So we would need to find 140%, which is 140 over 100, 140% of the store costs. Right? That second ratio is still going to be n over 150. Find our cross products. 100n is going to be equal to, right? That's 140 times 150. That's going to be 21,000. And when we divide both sides of that equation by 100, right, we wind up with n is going to be equal to the 210 dollars. All right. So there's a couple of examples for us. Now let's move on to sales tax and tips. Sales tax is an additional amount of money charged on items that people buy. The total cost of an item is the regular price plus the sales tax. When we find sales tax, we are still also finding the part of the whole when we find sales tax. All right, so let's take a look at this example here. <coughs> Once again, we could do the problem a couple of different ways, right? And we'll illustrate both. First example, I will do in two steps. Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140. And the sales tax is 5.75%. What is the total cost of the equipment? Well, if the sales tax is 5.75%, that's what we're going to put over 100. 5.75 over 100. The other ratio, because we're looking for the part, is going to be n over 140. When we find our cross products, 100 times n is going to be 100n, but then we have to multiply 5.75 times 140. That's going to give us 805. When we divide both sides of that equation by 100, they cancel. We wind up with n is going to be equal to 805. So that's eight dollars five cents, but that's not the total cost of the equipment. That's simply the sales tax. To find the uh, total cost of the equipment, we have to add the price of the equipment plus the sales tax, right? And that's going to give us a total of one hundred forty-eight dollars and five cents for the total cost of that equipment. All right. If we want to do that problem in one step, here's what it's going to look like. All right. <clears throat> well, if the sales tax is 5.75%, we want to add 100% to the 5.75%, and that's going to give us 105.75%, which we would write as 105.75 over 100. The other ratio is still n over 140. But this is going to give us the problem in one step where we don't have to have this addition step at the end. We find the cross products. 100 times n is going to be 100n. But then when we multiply 105.75 times 140, that's going to be 14,805. When we divide both sides of that equation by right, 100, that's going to be one hundred forty eight dollars in the five cents so you see we do get the same answer you know either way we do the problem all right let's try this next one down here it says what's the total cost of a sweatshirt if the regular price is forty two dollars and the sales tax is five and a half percent well, five and a half we need to know is five point five right for the percent that's five point five percent and that means then that we're going to put 5.5 over 100 and then the other ratio is going to be n over 42. When we find our cross products, 100 times n is 100n. 5.5 times 42, right, that's going to give us 231. When we divide both sides of that equation by 100, we wind up with n is going to be equal to two dollars thirty one cents but that's just the sales tax that's not the total cost 
to find the total cost, we have to take our $42 and we have to add the $2.31. And that's going to give us a total of $44.31 for our total cost, including the sales tax. All right. But once again, we can do the problem another way. All right. And I just tell my students, you choose whatever is going to work for you. So the other method would be the following, right? If we have 5.5% sales tax, that means the total cost is 100% plus the 5.5%. So we'd have 105.5 over 100 because it's 105.5%. That's going to be equal to our N over 42. Find our cross products, 100 times N is 100N. But then we have to multiply the 105 point five times the forty two that's going to give us four thousand four hundred thirty one when we divide by a hundred divide by a hundred right we wind up with n is going to be equal to the forty four dollars thirty one cents all right all right now we want to add the idea of a tip a tip is simply something extra that a customer will give to uh, you know either a waiter or a waitress or someone that does some work for them right it's a bonus but that bonus once again is the part of the home when we're finding a tip or giving a tip the customer wants to tip 15 percent on a restaurant bill that's 35 dollars what will be the total bill with the tip once again we could do the problem right a couple different ways All right first way we would write the 15 over 100 because we're going to find the tip and that's going to be n over 35 because we're looking for the part 100 times n is 100 n but then we have to multiply 15 times 35 that's going to give us 525 when we divide both sides of that equation by 100 we wind up with n is going to be equal to right 5.25 but to find the total cost we have to take that 5.25 and we have to add the $35 and that's going to give us $40.25 for the total cost including the tip. If we're using the other method we have 15 percent tip if we want to find the total we'd have to take hundred percent plus the 15 percent and we'd be finding 115 percent all right so it'd be 115 over 100 we still have the n over 35 we find our cross products 100 times n is 100 n and then we multiply 115 times 35 that's going to be 4025 when we divide both sides of that equation by 100 we wind up with n is going to be equal to forty dollars twenty five cents alright a few more problems to do here a haircut costs twenty dollars sales taxes four dollars seventy five cents is twenty five dollars sufficient to cover the haircut with tax and a tip alright well let's see what we got here well first let's find the sales tax on twenty dollars so let's write that here sales tax on twenty dollars that's going to be four point seven five over one hundred that's going to be equal to n over twenty find our cross products one hundred times n is going to be uh... one hundred n but then we multiply four point seven five times twenty that's going to be uh... ninety five Oops. Right, that's going to be 95. And when we divide both sides of that equation by 100, they cancel. N is going to be equal to 95 cents. Now that's just the tax. Now we want to include the tip. So we do 15% tip on the $20. All right. So that's going to be, let's do the tip here. So that's going to be 15 over 100 which is going to be equal to n over 20 find our cross products 100 times n is 100 n 
15 times 20 that's going to be right 300 divide both sides of that equation by 100 they cancel and it's going to be equal to three dollars so we have the tax is 95 cents the tip is three dollars so if we total that up right if we find the total that's going to be 20 plus the three right plus the 95 cents we wind up with 23 95 is $25 sufficient to cover the haircut with tax and a tip? The answer is yes, because $23.95 is less than $25, so the answer would be yes. All right? All right, let's do, uh, let's see, I thought I had one more. Let's see where we are here. Oh, this last one, we did that. Okay, let's go, hmm. Okay, let's do a couple of these original price problems. Um, we'll do two of them. All right, let's look at 18. Now, we had some examples earlier where we would find the original price. And when we're finding the original pr price, this is the only type of problem where we were looking for the, the whole amount. All right, so if I'm looking for the whole amount, this is going to look like this. Problem 18, if the discount is 65%, and this is the price after the discount, because it's the sale price, that means that the $66.30 is, if I take 65% away from 100%, that means that that is 35% of what number, right? There's my percent question. So my proportion is going to look like this. 35 is going to be over 100, and then we're going to have the 6630, that's going to be over N. We find our cross products, 35 times N is going to be 35N. Uh, 100 times $66.30 is going to be 6630. When we divide both sides of that equation by 35, right, we get, let's see, 6630 divided by 35, we wind up with $189.43. $189.43. We have to remember that when we are finding the whole amount or the original price or the regular price, that we must subtract the percent from 100 and we are looking for the whole amount. So the variable is going to be in the denominator. Right? So those are two things we have to remember when we're looking for the whole amount. All right? Last one we'll do is problem 19, right? That should be plenty. So if the sale price is $13 after a 20% discount, that means that we paid 80%. So the $13 is 80% of what number? Of what number all right there's my percent question okay so we wind up with 80 over 100 that's going to be equal to 13 over n 80 times n is going to be 80 n 13 times 100 is going to be 1300 and then when we divide 1300 by 80 we wind up with sixteen dollars right divide by eighty divide by eighty we wind up with n move that down a bit oops let's erase that we wind up with n is going to be equal to sixteen dollars twenty five cents alright so we've done all kinds of problems today and I know that that was a lot right but that's what we worked on in class today and you have plenty of examples to look at right just remember when you do these problems you know for the most part you're looking for the whole amount I'm sorry or you're looking for the part so your variable is going to be in the uh, numerator but if you're looking for the original price or the regular price your variable is going to be in your denominator alright we'll see you soon